In recent years, the Great Barrier Reef has come under intense pressure from the climate crisis. An excess of carbon dioxide in the water and a rise in ocean temperatures have seen widespread coral bleaching and devastation for countless marine ecosystems. But help is at hand. A group of Indigenous Australian women are changing the way we look at ocean conservation, giving the Great Barrier Reef a chance of recovery. My name's Larissa Hale. I'm an Indigenous land and sea ranger in Archer Point, Cape York, Australia. The problems that are affecting our oceans the most is climate change. Along the Great Barrier Reef, the heating of the water is causing our corals to have bigger bleaching events, but it's also affecting our tourism and our economy. I was initially the first Indigenous female ranger coordinator for Queensland, and being the only woman in the room, it was a little bit daunting. I realised that we needed to have more women on country doing land and sea management and that it is possible for us to do land and sea management. Then in 2018, the government supported for us to create the Queensland Indigenous Women Ranger Network. We had 34 ladies come to that meeting and then earlier this year we had 124 registered. Our solution supports and mentors and provides culturally appropriate training for these women so that they can use technology to better manage their land and sea country. One way to monitor climate change with the oceans is by capturing the data and every year you make sure you go back and capture that footage. I believe that our solution is just at the start. Winning the Earthshot 2022 prize would be very humbling. It would provide so much more opportunities for them to get the training that they need to be able to better manage their country.